YouTube, so today um, I'm going to film a bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, it's so weird because I'm actually filming in my mirror back to me, so it's a wee bit weird but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just start off with some um, concealer and just using the Lasting Perfection Concealer and I'm going to put it on my eye eyelids as a primer. So yeah, I thought I would just do a bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, because I feel like I haven't got to tell you what's going on in my life in a while and hopefully this isn't really really bright and stuff like that so it's just going to be a, quite a simple look yeah, um, I'm going to use my new Morphe brush palette this is the um, Jaclyn Hill favourites one just look at them colours ah, they're so beautiful so I'm not going to do a dramatic look because this isn't a tutorial but if you would like a tutorial on my favourite look from this palette I'll definitely get doing it. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush that yeah. colour there. I don't actually know the names of any of the colours so bear with me. But yeah I'm just giving you a bit of an update in my life that's why I thought a chit chat get ready with me would be a good um, video instead of just sitting down and giving you a bit of an update. Um, so yeah, I basically, for the past, how many months, I don't know, since September, I've been working um, two jobs. I've been working in a hairdresser's and in a local supermarket, which I, I really love both, but it was a lot to see and I still go to school. Um, and I just felt like things were getting on top of me. I couldn't concentrate on YouTube, I couldn't concentrate on schoolwork. So one one of them had to give. So two weeks ago or a week ago, um, I left the hairdressers just out of um choice through um getting more hours in my other job. Yeah, just through getting having more hours in my other job, and it just being um a little bit better for me because now I've got my Saturday mornings, well my whole Saturday back basically which was something that really bothered me quite a lot in the hairdressers was that I was getting up at well on the Friday night I was working in there in the supermarket um until 10 o'clock at night and then I was getting up and being in the hairdressers at um half eight in the Saturday morning and I was just getting completely wrecked because I've been going to school that whole week as well and I just felt like one, one of them had to give so um, I give up the hairdressers which means I have my Saturdays back which means I can film now on a Saturday and sorry I'm using that brow in there if you can see it um, just on a white fluffy brush so now I have my Saturdays back although it's a little bit less money I can also pick up more hours in my other job if I'm ever struggling for money which is always good um, I can do overtime and stuff like that so I just decided I needed to do something for myself um, as I'm always trying to please others and it, it just wasn't working out for me. I needed time to myself and just I needed a weekend again especially with A levels and exams coming up I just felt like it was all too much. So that's what ended up happening. I. I'm going to start filming every Saturday. That's currently my Easter, so I'm going to film as much as I can over Easter. Um, so I'm going to take that colour there. So I'm going to film as much as I can over Easter. And try to get loads of videos up, so over exams there's no gaps of videos. And then um, my last exam is the 10th of June, which I couldn't be more happy about like you have no idea school has not been a good time for me I haven't enjoyed school Um, to be honest I really haven't enjoyed school I've never really had the best time in school between struggling with work with the teachers with friends with just everything to do with school it was never really my thing so and I know people are probably rolling their eyes and thinking school is not really anybody's thing. I I just feel like I've had an extra hard time with school. So the tenth of June, last exam, last time ever I need to deal with that school, apart from getting results, which I'm dreading. Um, then I'm going on holiday. I'm going on holiday just after a few days after my nineteenth birthday, with my mum. Um 
for those who you don't know, my mom is one of my best friends. And I'm happy enough to admit that because she's just amazing. So me and my mum, girly holiday for a week in the sun in Benidorm, which I cannot wait. I'm super excited. So that's what my holiday plans are. Just after my 19th birthday, then when I come home, it's my boyfriend's 21st birthday. So we're hopefully going to be able to do something nice for that because he really deserves it as I'm sure you've seen on my Instagram, he, he's so good to me, he really, really is. I can't complain, I'm very, very lucky to have him. Come in August, I'm going to be getting my results. And then starting September, I'm hopefully going to, I'm taking a gap year. I'm not going to uni straight away, as I just feel like I couldn't go straight into more education when I've had such a crap time of school in the past seven years especially high school has been crap for me i have hated every moment of it so i kind of feel like i just need a break i need a year just to be me but i also don't want to um i also don't want to ruin like my way of studying and stuff so I'm going to do an A-level in tech, which is like college. I'm going to do another A-level um, just so I don't kind of forget how to revise. I'm also going to do a makeup course next year. I'm not sure where yet. I have no idea where. So if you're from Belfast and you've done a makeup course here before. Sorry about that. Um, and you've done a makeup course here before and you really enjoyed it, please comment down below where you recommend because I'm still trying to figure out where the best place to go is. And there's been a few that I've been looking at. Um, and if you're wondering, I'm going to link all my all the products I'm using down below just because of the fact that I'm not really talking you through it because this is more of an update while getting ready with me. So... But so far I've used just Jaclyn Hill palette eyeshadows on my eyes. Which may I just say it is one of the most amazing eyeshadow palettes I've ever had. Um, and now just some Revlon Colorstay foundation which is on my foundation routine which I shall link below. I do plan to go to uni and uh, study to be... Well at the minute I want to be a speech and language therapist. Um... And then I want to let kind of branch that off onto um, children with learning difficulties. Life scares me because I have no idea what's going to come next. But and work. I'm going to work as much as I can next year to build up money. And yeah, I'm not moving out or anything next year. I couldn't move out of my home. I'm, too, I'm still too young. I'm only 18. I know I'll be 19, but I still feel like that's too young for me personally, who is a complete home bird and who is my... My mum's my best friend, so it will be moving away from my best friend as well. And I just couldn't do it, so I'm going to stay put. Stay put for a while anyway, and um, get myself together, kind of. I'm just using the Stay Matte um, Press Powder. And I'm going to set under my under eyes. I'd love to know what you feel about your exams, and if any of you are doing your A-levels, what A-levels are you doing? And have you <laughs> been revising for them? Because... That's one thing that I find I have completely lost and that is um, my motivation. It's it's gone and it's kind of freaking me out because everybody's kind of starting to revise and stuff and I'm kind of like, oh, I really can't be bothered. So let me know if you have any motivation tips because I certainly don't. Um, so I'm going to do my eyebrows now. Um, I'm going to use the brow things. By Benefit in Dark and my Anastasia um, Beverly Hills pencil number 12. So I'm going to skip through this bit because I have a video of this up. Okay so that's my eyebrows done. So I'm now going to use the Balm and Mama um, bronzer by The Balm with the Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm going to contour my cheek. I'm going in quite dark first and then I'll blend it out later. If you have any video suggestions, please write them down below. I'm thinking of doing a um my very first um, makeup collection video. 
as this seems to be quite a popular video to do. Um, so definitely let me know if you want to see that. Because I have extra time over Easter, I'm going to video, film as many videos as I can. And I thought that would be a fun one to do. But I kind of, I want more ideas, so please leave your suggestions down below. I was thinking about doing another Q&A, but you can let me know about that one as well. The MIC Smooth Skin by uh, Orange Sunny with just a big powder brush and powder over the top of that. Just to bronze me up a wee bit. I'm now going to do some winged liner because my eyes are a wee bit crazy without any liner or mascara. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it, um, I don't know what the easiest way to do it is. Because my setup is still getting used to it. I could also do a room tour. Sorry if the lights change there because I have my mirror with the light in it. And I could also do a room tour because I've recently got my room done up. And if you want to see what my favourite part of my room looks like, follow my Instagram, Karen under slash cool. Um, and there's a picture there and I just love it. So um, I could do a room tour too, which I think would be quite fun. But I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'm not going to talk because I always mess it up when I talk. So that's the eyeliner done. I'm going to pick a blush, which is going to be Max Stubborn. Which is just a, a, one of my favourites at the minute. Like how gorgeous is that colour. Um, and just a Real Techniques blush brush. And put that onto my cheeks. Yeah. I have a Snapchat. If you want to add me on Snapchat. It's Karen under slash cool. I'm pretty much Karen under slash cool and everything. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. But YouTube and just Karen cool. I'm going to be taking my YouTube a wee bit more seriously than what I have been because I have more time now. It wasn't that I was, wasn't was taking it seriously, it was more the fact that I literally didn't have time. I was like, though it's funny because the one thing that I love the most about makeup is mascara but it's the one thing that I hate putting on the most. Is that any of you used to say, I'm like, it is the one thing I detest putting on just because it's, it's such a pain and taking it off as well. Oh. Okay, so I have no idea what I was doing now. <laughs> I think I went off camera to do something, but I actually have no idea what I've done. So I'm going to do lips now. Um, I'm using Next Purple Rain Lip Liner. Okay, so I just filled in the outside of my lips with that lip liner, so I kind of look crazy. And now, guys, my new favourite ever, 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 lipstick is my MAC Up The Amp, the Amplified Finish lipstick. Oh my god. Give it a wee minute. Just appreciate my beautiful. So I'm going to put this on and you'll see how pretty it is. Guys, appreciate. Like, this so would never, ever, 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 ever have been my colour. Like, ever. And I was in MAC the other day with my mom, and I was like, oh, I really want a new MAC lipstick. And But I don't, I have so many MAC nudes. Like, all my MAC lipsticks are nude colours. Because I don't want to spend £15.50 on a lipstick that I'm not going to wear, and I wear nudes every day. So she was like, well, what colours do you want? And I was like... Well, a purple would be nice because I, I really like purples. And she was like, well, why don't you try this one and picked it up? I was like, do you know, that might be nice. And I tried it on and ever since. Loved it. So I'm going to curl my lashes. Which people go crazy about. They're like, oh, you don't curl your lashes when you've got mascara on. But believe me, guys, I do not get, like, pull my lashes off. I know when to on pull them. So, yeah, guys, this is my update video. I hope you like it. It's a wee bit weird filming into my mirror, but I thought it might be an easier way because my room's not very big, so this way it gives me more space. So let me know if you like it this way, and I think if I, if this way is good, I think I'll be off for filming way more tutorials, way more videos, you know, stuff like that. So let me know, and I hope you like this makeup look. I hope you like my updates. Um, sorry for being a little bit... TMI for a while but I had to sort my life out because 
I was getting stressed out. Then when I get stressed out, I get anxiety. When I get anxiety, I just blow up. So I had to sort myself out. But now I am and I have time to myself. I have time to breathe. So yeah, this is, it's so much better. So yes, let me know and let me know what videos you want. Please thumbs this video up because it helps out me out so, so much. Share this video with your friends. Tell your friends to subscribe to me. Um, just, yeah, if you like me, tell everybody. <laughs> so yes, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.